Bella from Lux Mox of Hairstyles, and if you have some more really fancy you need to go or you need an elegant do, here's a French twist just for you. Start by lifting up a section at the crown of your hair, and then just give it a couple of squirts of hairspray, and I can use you can use a comb or a brush and just back comb it a little bit and drop it and then get the section right above that that's right up to the front whether or not you have bangs do it in this section squirt it with hairspray back comb it a little bit to tease it this will give you some height if you don't want to do that step you can skip it but I love how it gives it the height to the French twist and then drop it and let it hang down and I take a wide tooth comb and I barely skim that top surface so that it's nice and smooth and then I'm going to take a little section here at the crown, the part that we back combed, and lift it up and I will actually bobby pin it into place so that you get that pretty height on the French twist. So come in from both sides and put in a couple of bobby pins to hold it. And then those won't show because we will cover them with the twist, but look at that pretty height. Then start by taking the hair from the side I'm right-handed so it's easier to work this way. You can go the opposite way if you'd like. But cover all the way from the bobby pin down to the base of the neck and just start sweeping the hair over. Get it nice and smooth and then I'm just going to hold it there with my brush while I bobby pin it into place. Coming from the top and the bottom making sure you've hidden your bobby pins that you put in from the bump. You can let go of your brush and keep anchoring it down until so it looks like that. And then hold those bobby pins while you comb out the hair to smooth it. If you don't hold it, you are likely to pull them out of place. And then take the hair from the other side. And we're just going to sweep this hair back over the other way. Get it nice and smooth because that's what makes the French twist look so pretty. I've got a little piece that's sticking out, so I'm just going to anchor it down. Then smooth out that hair and bring it over and I'm going to wrap it around my hand and you do as many wraps as based on the length of your hair. So I will just keep coiling it around and it helps that I have, she has a tiny bit of curl in the bottom of it so that when it sticks up on top of the French twist it still looks pretty. Now start to anchor down that twist to your head. See how those curls look on top? It's much prettier than straight ends. And then coming down from the top, you're just basically anchoring this twist to your head. And I don't like that bobby pin I stuck in, so I'll pull it back out. But put some hairspray on it and smooth it out with your wide tooth comb again. And then go ahead and continue to anchor it down. I like to smooth it first so that I can see which strands still need it. And you have a beautiful updo hairstyle. <laughs>